Hello everyone, my name is Anuja Sharvastha and I welcome you all in class 7 physics class. Today I will discuss about the second chapter force and pressure part 2. In this video we will discuss about the this topic. Let's start the first topic uniform speed. <coughs> So whenever the word uniform comes, that is always related with the uniformity in proper way. So uniform speed, when a body travels to cover a equal distance in equal intervals of time. When a body travels cover equal distance in equal intervals of time suppose for example you can take three things first you take time position and distance. Now, suppose the time is now 8 am. That means this is the starting time. When the time is starting, the position is at rest. That means 0 kilometer. So, distance is also 0 kilometer. Now, in next one hour that means at 9 am suppose body travels 20 kilometer if body travels 20 kilometer that means what is the distance 20 minus 0 is equal to 20 kilometer now in next one hour that means 10 am the body covers 40 kilometers that means 40 minus 20 is equal to 20 kilometer that means this is the equal time interval 1 1 hour and the equal distance that means in equal intervals of time the distance is equal so that it is the uniform speed. Non. Next is the non-uniform speed. So here we are talking about the speed that means time is equal but the speed is not uniform. That means when body travels through unequal distance in equal interval of time that means in first hour the body travels, a car travels 30 kilometer. In next one hour, it travels 23 kilometer. In next hour, it travels 25 kilometer. That means the time is equal but the distance is unequal. So next topic is the average speed. So why this average speed is necessary? This average speed is necessary for the non 
uniform speed because the speed is non uniform so we will calculate the average speed so how we will calculate the average speed the average speed it is the uh, total distance covered by an object divided by the total time taken that means average speed is equal to total distance covered by an object divided by total time taken so in this way we can calculate the average speed for the non uniform speed now next move towards another topic scalar and vector quantities so first we will discuss about the scalar quantities so scalar quantities it is a physical quantities which is fully described by its magnitude that means by its numerical value it is physical quantity which is fully described by its magnitude or numerical value for example you can take it over here just like the mass distance now next move towards the vector quantities it is also a physical quantity but for determining for describing this quantity magnitude as well as the direction is needed it is a physical quantity described by both magnitude and direction for example you can take here displacement force etc so this is all about the today's topic hope you are enjoying the video and like the videos please watch the video for your benefit uh, benefits so that you can get the knowledge till then bye bye thank you